my name is Rachel. I'm a graduate of Horton and now I work here on staff. And today I'm going to be giving you an online tour of our campus. Let me show you my home. We're going to start with Frost Hall. So Frost Hall was built in 1911 by the Prince family and this was their summer home. Frost Hall is now home to the admissions office, professor's offices, and the president's office. So I want to start by telling you a little bit about how Gordon began. So Gordon was founded in 1889 by Adoniram Judson Gordon. We like to call him AJ. That's his bust right there. So he first founded Gordon as the Boston Missionary Training Institute, training men and women to be missionaries in the Congo. And his mission is still deeply rooted in what Gordon does today. So Gordon strives to graduate men and women distinguished by intellectual maturity, Christian character, committed to lives of service, and prepared for leadership worldwide. You'll hear us talking about the mission throughout the tour because it is so deeply embedded in every single thing that we do. Welcome to Jenks Library. First off in our Jenks Library tour is I wanna take you to the Career and Connection Institute, which we like to call CCI. Welcome to the Career and Connection Institute, as we like to call it, CCI. This is where vocational training meets practical work experience. So we at Gordon are all about not only preparing you, getting you on your resume and interviews, but also preparing you for the work that the Lord is calling you to do. So there are so many different ways that CCI comes alongside students, whether that's we do mock interviews or working with you to build your resume or a cover letter, but then they also do things like the sophomore calling in career conference, where they sit students down and talk about what it looks like to live lives that God has called them to and where he's leading them and how to take steps along that. So they work with students very closely to say hey how can we take what you're practically learning and turn it into jobs and internships and get you places all over the world we have global internships we have internships in Boston we have people here to help you make sure that your education here is being used in the wider world and that your skills are growing and developing also a huge thing in CCI is also um, our on-campus employment. So we have a huge on-campus employment called Gordon Works and they are here to assist you to grow your skills even while you're a student. One of the organizations under CCI is CELL, the Center for Entrepreneurial Leadership. CELL has so many amazing opportunities for students to get involved, whether you have no idea how to spell entrepreneurship or you're ready to start your own business. So there's different things of open coffee. So they have a time every single week where they will take students off campus and they give them caffeination, inspiration, and help them all come together to be able to hear from entrepreneurs and hear how they started up their venture. Then there's also something called Startup Sandbox where they have students be able to start working on their own ventures and then the Social Venture Challenge where students get to present what they their business idea for $5,000 of seed money. Total it's $10,000 but the winner gets $5,000. We also have different things called immersion trips. So they take students all over the country to be able to learn what it looks like to be in the world of business. So I'm just went to Chicago, Buffalo, New York City, and of course, Boston. Welcome to Jenks Library. This is where students have classes, where they do silent study, and sometimes some pretty loud study. This is the main entrance, and behind me is the reference room. The reference room is home to some of our books, but don't worry, we actually have over 370,000 books here on campus, but if that's not enough for you, we're also part of the North of Boston Library Exchange, so you can get books from all over the area sent straight here for you to be able to have access to. We also in our library have our Center for Technology Services help you with all of your technology needs. We have an Academic Success Center. They're here to help you with tutoring and with study prep. And if you're having any trouble in classes, they're here for you. We also have a counseling center that is here to meet students in the stress of college. Also, very important to a college student is coffee and food. So this is our Bistro 255, which is available for all students in the library. So you don't even need to leave the library when you get hungry. We like to call this our Panera and Starbucks put together. So you can get coffee, you can get sandwiches, you can get on the go items, and it's all here just for you. Olson Science Center, or as we like to call it, COSC. 
Ken Olson Science Center is named after, you guessed it, Mr. Ken Olson, who is the CEO of Digital Equipment Corporation, who is a longtime supporter of Gordon and our mission. Which, talking about our mission, this is a big place where intellectual maturity, one of the pillars of our mission, is represented. So this is where a lot of students, not just science or STEM students, will be able to take classes, interact with professors, and um, grow in their intellectual maturity. So we here at Gordon have an 11 to 1 student to faculty ratio. That means your professors know you. They know your name, they know who you are, and they want to learn with you. They want to come alongside you and be able to come along with you in your learning. I loved working with professors as I was a student, and that is something that still continues to this day. Some of our science faculty are amazing. Dr. Dorothy Boris literally wrote one of the most widely used environmental textbooks in the country, and she is here, as well as Sean Clark, who is the chair of our kinesiology department has a anatomy and physiology lab. That means it's a cadaver lab. So students are working on real cadavers to be able to learn and grow their education. I have a friend currently in PA school and she was so far ahead of the rest of the students because she had already done some of the work that they had only ever seen in textbooks. It's amazing. We also have a dual nursing program with Curry College. So if you're interested in that, talk to admissions counselor. Or we also have a pre-med track. Talk to admissions counselor about that. Our sciences here are amazing and there's so many ways for students to grow. And again, the 11 to 1 student to faculty ratio is so helpful because you get to work with professors and you can do different things over the summers and working with them to help them with their own projects. Welcome to the Ken Olson Science Center Rotunda. Yes, this is a classroom. And this room is where we like to talk about the location of Gordon and some of the great things that we have on our campus. So if you look out this window, you see those woods? Gordon has over 450 acres a part of our campus. So students can go outside, run in the woods. There's a pond you can swim in. There's so many adventures and trails and mountain biking to be had out there. Something else that we have out there is actually a full ropes course. One of the distinctives of Gordon is that we have an outdoor education requirement through our center called La Vida. So La Vida has a requirement that you can fill in two different ways. You can either do a 12 day backpacking trip in the Adirondacks of New York, or you can do a half semester quad class called Discovery out on the ropes course in our backyard where you can learn to belay your teammates and do group activities and grow together and do a camping trip in New Hampshire. They are both amazing and I highly recommend both of them. Something else that we love is that we are so close to Boston. Boston is just 45 minutes away. We have the commuter rail to get you in. We have different cars. And also we're located by so many sweet, fun New England towns. There's farms right down the road. I get my fresh local milk. We're also right down the road from the beach. So easy to get there, go on a nice walk or take a bike. We love our New England area. Welcome to Phillips Recital Hall. This is home to so many of our music students and our amazing music faculty. The chair of our music department, Sarita Kwok, starred in the Aust Australia Symphony Orchestra when she was 15 years old. She is an amazing violinist and some of the music faculty that we have are just phenomenal. We are so blessed to have them here at Gordon. So students get trained by amazing professionals, but they also get to go on trips. Students this year have gone to California, Nashville, Ukraine, Taiwan. There's so many amazing options for students to be a part of ensembles or different bands or choirs. There's a lot of fun to be had here in the music department. Next, we're walking into our residence halls. And this is the part of the mission where we start to talk about Christian character because character is definitely grown when you're living up and close and personal with different students. Welcome to Chase Hall. This is one of our many residence halls here on campus. We're going to take you into the lab. Every residence hall has at least one lounge for students to be able to be in. And there are three different types of residence halls. This building is a suite style where two rooms are connected by a bathroom and they have a sink in their room. There's also traditional style where there are several different rooms and then one big bathroom at the end. And then there's apartment style, which is reserved for juniors and seniors, where there are three rooms with their own living room and a kitchen and a bathroom. So we do have um, 
RAs and RDs in each of our residence halls. An RD is a resident director, so they are an adult with their master's degree that are here to watch over the RAs and help the students. And then the RAs are resident assistants, and those are students that have been hired and trained to help promote community, to love on students, and to be there to help them through the struggles as life comes. So that's a big part of res life. We Again, Christian character is a huge part of it. So spending time praying with one another, having floor dinner together, and doing things throughout the hall. There are also huge hall events that happen throughout all, throughout, all throughout the year in different halls. So there's fun things like dances that they'll do. They'll do a big square dance that happens all together. On the hill, they have a giant water balloon fight. So there's lots of fun things to happen in the residence halls and lots of great opportunities for students. Welcome to Lane Cafe. This is where most students will come to get their breakfast, lunch, and dinner while they're here at Gordon. Our food service company is called Bon Appetit, and they are all about farm to fork. So 20% of the food that you'll find in Lane Cafe is from local areas and local farmers. There are so many different options here for students. We have salad bar, we have comfort food station, we have soups, pizza, grill, and even a big stir fry area. Students are also able, if you have food allergies, to have specific sections. So there's a certain vegan section, gluten-free. If you have any different food accommodations, we're here to help you meet those. Students can come in here and it's an all-you-care-to-eat system. So you can come back for seconds, you can come back for thirds, not to mention our great desserts. They go wild with the desserts that they do and the ice cream is also phenomenal. Students will typically come in here, grab their food, and then eat in Tupper Hall. So this is Tupper Hall. Um, this is a great place for students to hang out, to relax, eat some food, meet up with friends. And also, if you'll see, we actually have flags from so many different countries all over the ceilings. And that is to represent our international students that we are so proud to have here at Gordon. Because as I said at the beginning, when students come from all over the world, we, that was our original mission, was that we would be able to send people out into the world. So again, leadership worldwide and being able to send people out. Welcome to the A.J. Gordon Memorial Chapel. This is where our students will gather together to worship, to learn more about God's Word, and also to come to have a lot of fun. And every Monday and Wednesday at 1025, the whole campus shuts down for our chapel services. We'll be led by worship in some of our student bands and then hear a preaching from our chaplain, Reverend Bob Wittett, or from some of the special speakers that he brings that come from all over the world. In here, students can participate in also a Sunday night catacomb service where all of the lights are out and we worship by candlelight. It's a really beautiful time for students to come together. We do have a Christian Life and Worship credit requirement here at Gordon, so each student needs to get 30 Christian Life and Worship credits throughout the semester. And that can happen by going to chapel or by attending some of the other scholarly discussions that we have throughout campus. Some other things that happen throughout this building is some really fun events. Two of Gordon's keystone events are called Gordon Globes and Golden Goose. Gordon Globes is when we literally roll out a red carpet behind us, everybody dresses up, and students have worked on these beautiful films that everyone gets to watch together and vote on which one they like the best. And then Golden Goose, my personal favorite, is when students nominate three of the funniest people in their class and they come on stage and give us a whole show and the whole place is filled and it is pretty amazing. So we have a lot of fun events that happen over the summer and a lot of amazing times for students to come together to worship and be reminded of what we're here to do in the beginning. The chapel office has three, three branches. So there's worship, missions, and discipleship. Students can be a part in an, uh, of any of the worship bands, so you can apply to that once you get here at Gordon. Missions, we have missions trips that go all over the world. We have some that are national that just go throughout the country, and some that are international that go from between two weeks to a month. And then also we have discipleship. So we have different spiritual life groups for students to join um, and have different people that come alongside students and choose to mentor them. So it's a really awesome opportunity for people to get involved, and our chapel staff is amazing, and they always have snacks. Well everyone, this is the last stop on our tour, the Clarendon Street Baptist Church Bell. So the Clarendon Street 
Baptist Church is the church where A.J. Gordon first founded the Boston Missionary Training Institute in 1889. That was the start of Gordon College. We have this bell here right outside of our chapel to remind us of where we're coming from and where we're headed. We're always seeking the Lord and we're always trying to make sure that we are following in his footsteps. So again, Gordon College strives to graduate men and women distinguished by intellectual maturity, Christian character, committed to lives of service, and prepared for leadership worldwide. We're really sad that you couldn't join us on campus today, but we hope that you were able to get a glimpse of what life looks like here. Please let us know if you have any questions. Reach out to us. Ask us what more experiences are like. We'd love to connect you with students or with someone on our team. Thank you for joining us. Bye.